Okay, now the crisis uh, cost budget, I will calculate the cost and reduce the expenses. As you know, while we are in the crisis, we need to reduce all the uh, prices. Um, Okay, reduce all the, ex I mean, reduce all the, um, the expenses. We don't need more expenses. We need to focus on the most important area where we can invest our money, specifically for the crisis, because nobody knows the crisis will be extended till when. Um, end of the year, uh, maybe after a month, nobody knows about, this is it's unknown. Then we will use the uh, spreadsheet. Um, this is the spreadsheet. I, um, this is the tool, but let me explain for you how you're using the tools. Uh, use the spreadsheet, then we check in the realistic number. We don't need fake number. We need to use realistic number, okay? Um, it's uh, related to uh, uh, our position. Then we will make the action plan to, reducing, um, to reduce the cost. This is the tool. You can listen all your information here. Listing all the category, direct cost, indirect cost, sale, expense, all type of expenses used by the countries, by the ministries, by the organization or companies. Then we will check in a profit review. We will check it now about the profit. Uh, calculate how we increase our profit. In our crisis, while it's a health crisis, okay, we don't find, we we don't focus on um, liquidity. We don't focus about the economic um, um, mean um, about um, the human aspect. It's more important than um, uh, the profit, the other profits, uh, the normal profit, because the profit means you gain money. Now we don't think about the money. We're thinking about the humanity. The human capital is most important um, and critical um, act activity during this crisis. Then we are seeing all uh, the profits area, okay, and we will, uh, then you make the specifications and then you will make the options, option one, two, three, and so on. Then we will go now to IT innovation. Maybe you said, why you use IT? Um, the reason of using this tool during this crisis, as you know now, all the world is converted to be digitalized. While we have the infrastructure of using the digital, mean using all the applications, the website, uh, electronics, smart devices, all this one, we call it innovative. Then we need to find an innovative approach for IT. Then we need to uh, address this crisis by uh, finding what is the innovative approach. As you know now, all the companies is converted to be, um, uh, they work working as a remote access, they working from their home, but they have their uh, infrastructure to communicate with their employee uh, to working because they have a special system, they have special software to work. Then the work is not stopped with them while they have their systems or their infrastructures about uh, the IT. Then what is that tip? So we will use a new IT system to accelerate the process. We need to accelerate the process. For example, uh, in Kuwait now, they develop a new applications uh, to address um, the cases of Corona, um, uh, uh, um, the people who is infected in Corona and uh, to tracking this, the, those people by using uh, the applications or by using app, by mobile. And also we will select relevant IT system. We will use some system relevant to our cases now. And this is the IT uh, innovation. You list all the different approaches of innovations. You list it here and you will uh, check uh, the possibility how you implement this innovative. Now we will uh, use also IT optimization. We need to convert all the organization streamlined to reach digitalization. Mean if my system is in a traditional way and I'm using, for example, email for communication, I use software, then I need to be more digital. I need to convert it to be more digitalized that allow the people access from anywhere, from home, because nobody knows, as I mentioned before, about the lockdown will be continued till when. Now we are in partial lockdown. Nobody knows maybe in the future we will have um, um, 
uh, a full um, lockdown mean uh, not only the partial, then we will identify the effective IT system to control the crisis, and we will select again relevant IT system. This is the IT uh, optimization. Okay, we will list here all um, uh, the IT optimized. Uh, what are you? Uh, I would like to be used as I mentioned before. In the in the corner, you will see again. Uh, one focus area uh, from operation, and you will see the checklist for my uh, tools. And here I write all my information and analyze and get the outcomes uh, with um, a minimum um, uh, risk. Now we will reach together um, last destination from this live webinar about the action plan to success through the crisis management. This is an SMRE action plan. I develop it for you, or I deliver it for you. It's already uh, available or delivered um, when the crisis is starts. It's delivered for all uh, the advisory, such as me, okay, um, as a new tool to be used uh, for uh, crisis uh, management. Then we will listen here uh, all our titles, and there we will write the descriptions of our titles. We will select the personnel who is working and uh, um, the quarters, which quarters, Q1, Q2, or days, and here the most important. Down, when you see, we will have a checklist uh, for my requirement and the checklist for the organization. And this is it. We can. Um, um, this is the action plan in Arabic, okay? Uh, because I received several comments about talking in Arabic. I do my best to talking with you in Arabic and translate the most important terminology, except my apology about speaking in English because um, just um, I need to um, uh, connecting between um, between um, between the tools and between uh, the discussions. Now, um, thank you so much uh, for your listening. Uh, I would like to summarize um, uh, our live webinar today. Um, we discussed today about what I provide you with an overview about 360 degree perspective or model to understand what is the 360 degree model. Then we convert it to um, how we success in the crisis management and how we use this uh, methodology or models for the crisis management. And we discuss uh, how we develop the methodology and we discuss in, in details about the tool and we summarize by the action plan. Um, the conclusion um, for our discussion, uh, the uh, 360 degree is a powerful tool, uh, friendly use, uh, very uh, easy and uh, very um, easy to uh, make, take an act, uh, make an action and take um, uh, take decision and make an actions and it will be solving a several problem uh, in one page. أشكركم على حسن استماعكم أتمنى أن إن شاء الله بإذن الله نشوفكم في محاضرتنا الجاية اللي خاصة بالإدارة الفعالة لإدارة الأدوات الفعالة لإدارة الأزمات المنظور 360 راح نعرض في هذه المحاضرة أدوات جديدة مختلفة لم يتم استخدامها من قبل وراح تكون مدى أهميتها في تطبيقها على أرض الواقع المحاضرة راح تكون اليوم 21 أبريل راح تكون مدتها 90 minutes اللي حب يشترك فيها راح يوصل له إيميل من إي تدريس ونشكر كذلك القائمين على إي تدريس في دعمهم أو hosting live webinar thank you so much and have a great evening